He had to stop them before the flowers were all gone. But what would make a cow-proof wall? Then an idea hit him. Stones are strong. They come in all sizes. And they make great walls. The next day, George set out to build the world's most cow-proof wall. Amazing how many unused stones were lying around. George was too late. The flowers were all eaten. As the cows went in for their afternoon milking, George felt like a big cow-stopping failure. wasn't easy, but George wasn't going to give up. Why was that wall stronger than George's? <laughs> These stones were staggered, which made the wall stronger. This would be the best cow-proof wall a monkey ever built. If he finished it in time. George promised the flowers that he'd save them. George's wall had saved the last flowers. <sighs> the next day, George brought the man with the yellow hat to see how he helped the flowers. <laughs> You're taking me to see these flowers? Okay, I'm coming. I don't see any flowers, George. The wall stood, but somehow the yellow flowers were gone, replaced by these things. Were those your yellow flowers? No. Oh, oh, George, it's okay. That's what's supposed to happen. They change. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, that's supposed to happen too. Those are seeds. They'll land somewhere and new ones will grow. So George's wall had helped the flowers to survive. And he had until the new flowers grew to think of a way to keep cows away from them. <laughs>